Each year, Australia's iconic Phillip Island Grand Prix circuit hosts the world's biggest names in bike racing, as well as Australia's V8 supercars. But in the 14 years since it was last resurfaced, a few bumps and cracks have appeared, and the old girl has started to look a little tired. But not for much longer, because today she's getting a $3 million facelift. And it's hardly a minor operation. More than 70 contractors and 35 vehicles are needed to lay the 5,000 tonnes of asphalt with surgical precision over two days. Well, we're using all the latest technology. Um, how we started out with the resurface is we did a three-dimensional laser survey uh, that was accurate to within three millimetres. A portable batching plant has been shipped on site to ensure the asphalt is a scorching 172 degrees, which means a harder and smoother finish. And really the way to do it is by getting lots of pavers, lots of gear on site and moving quickly. The whole thing becomes really a logistical exercise. I can't tell you what the mix of the asphalt is. It's a secret recipe. It's designed to make the cars and the bikes go faster. It just makes us proud. You know, it's, it, there's nothing better than having the best racetrack in the world and the drivers, you know, and the riders just with excitement on their faces. I could say it very politely, it's as smooth as a baby's bum. And I've got, I've got five kids, so it's as smooth as a baby's bum. And that all means the island's fastest racing ever is just around the corner.